Good morning guys, I hope you're having a great day. This is Yuvraj from Brainstorm Force and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a pre-post checklist inside your WordPress admin area for your post pages and custom post types. So let's get started. So as you probably can understand, a checklist is very useful to have when you are publishing content on a regular basis. You want to be reminded of the things that you need to do on every post. For example, like adding a featured image, making sure that the post is shared on social media, or scheduling a post, or doing some internal linking for SEO, or some other tasks that are routinely done for every post and pages. It's important for you to have it, and it's very important when you're working with other writers so that they can be reminded for all the essential things that they need to do on the post itself. Now you can use note taking applications or checklist applications. There are dozens of them out there, but having the checklist just alongside your post is what makes the difference. To add the pre-published checklist to our website, we're going to use the pre-publish checklist plugin. It's a free plugin that's created by us, Brainstorm Force, and it's regularly updated. So no matter what version of WordPress you're on, the plugin will still work perfectly. There are a lot of details about the plugin on the plugin description page. You'll find it in the WordPress repository as it's a free plugin. And also I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out directly without having to search for it. So what I'm going to do is install the plugin on my website and then I'll show you how to configure it and then how to start using it for your pages and posts. So I already have the plugin installed on my website and I can go to plugins install plugins to show you. So as you can see, the pre-published checklist plugins is installed. Make sure that you're installing the right plugin. It's made by Brainstorm Force so that you can have all the good functionality that I'm going to show you in this plugin. So let's get to the settings, which are in settings, pre-published checklist. Okay, so you have three tabs. You have the general tab, you have checklist tab and getting started, which is just an informational tab. There's not much information there. So let's start with the settings here. So the first setting says publish button action if checklist is incomplete. Now this is the most useful feature in my opinion. So what this lets you do is set actions for if the post is being published without the checklist being complete or all the items being checked off from the checklist. So what is the behavior that the plugin should enforce? By default, it's set to do nothing and publish, which means that the checklist just serves as a guideline and it's not enforced to the user. But you can change that behavior by choosing one of these options. You can have this first option, which says prevent user from publishing page or post. Now, when you have this option, then user will not be able to publish or you will not be able to publish the post until you check all the items of the list. The second option is warn before publishing. Now, if you select this option, then the plugin will warn you that your checklist is incomplete. Would you like to still publish the page or post? And then you'll be able to post it, but the warning will still appear, which is just a reminder that you need to perform all the tasks that are present in the checklist. So right now I'm going to leave it to one user before publishing so that I can demonstrate how the plugin works and I can also publish the post itself. So I'm going to save the settings first. Okay, the settings are now saved. I'll go to the checklist option. Okay, so the checklist tab is where all the good stuff happens. This is where you design the checklist that will appear on the page or post that you're trying to publish. As you can see, you have different options for posts, pages and custom post types. If you selected or created them, then they will also appear here. Make sure that you have enabled the option for the custom post types in the general tab, otherwise you won't see them here. So this is the checklist for posts. As you can see, this is created by default and it's already pretty hand handy or useful. You have the option of featured image added, category selected, formatting done, title sketchy, social images assigned, done SEO, spelling and grammar checked. You have the option of editing, deleting or reordering the options on this page. For example, if I want to say the spelling and grammar check should be the first thing that we need to do. So I, all I have to do is click and drag this option and take it to the top of the list and it's done. Of course, I can also add items to the checklist, which is an important thing to do if you're creating a custom checklist for your page in post. So let me add a very important task to this checklist so that you can see how it's done. So all I have to do is go here, type in the name of the task that I want to add to the checklist and create add to list. So let me add it right here. All right, so I have added a very important task to the list. I'll click the add to list button to add it to the task. Now, this is one of the most important tasks that you can do to improve your knowledge about WordPress and also learn more about the great product that we create. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel, Brainstorm Force, and also hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications about whenever we upload a new video on our channel. Now, I'm sure you've already subscribed to our channel, so I'm going to edit the task and add something more important to the post and page itself. I'm going to edit it and make it add internal linking. And I'm going to click save. And this is how you can edit tasks as well. And I'm going to reformat or reorder it so that it's somewhere maybe here and looks good. 
and the changes on the checklist are saved on the fly. You don't have to save your settings as you had to do in the general settings or other settings. So now let's check out the post itself and see how the checklist appears on the screen. So I'm inside my post and this is how the post looks like in the Gutenberg or the blog editor. On the right hand side, you have the document settings and the block settings if you select a particular block. But the checklist will appear under the document settings. And if you scroll down below, you can see it right here. It is the pre-published checklist as the name suggests. It is at 0% right now. So we have added handy progress bar so that you can directly see how much or what percentage of tasks you have completed successfully. So let me just show you how it's done. Uh, so what you have to do whenever you add, suppose we add a featured image to the post, so you can say, okay, I've done this post. And if you have social media images assigned or you've scheduled it to social media, you can do this. If you performed the SEO task that you need, then you can do this. And if you've done all the internal linking, then you can do this. And if you or some of your employees or your writers try to publish this post without uh, completing this task, then this is what you will see. Now, this is dependent on the options as I showed you earlier. So now it's right now at the warning mode. So I have, do have the option of publishing the post anyway, but the checklist is just showing me a warning. If I select the do not publish option, then I'll see a warning and I won't be able to publish unless all the items are checked here. So if I click don't publish, obviously I won't be able to publish the checklist and I'll be taken to the checklist so that I can do all the tasks. So I have to select a category. Now this is obviously dependent on what task you assign specifically. So it doesn't have to be related to the content itself. It can be about anything, about graphics or anything. So to just to demonstrate, I'll select all the items on the checklist. And as you can see, it's 100% now. So now if I click the publish button, I directly see the publish options inside WordPress that you would usually see. And if I click the publish button, the page will be published successfully without warnings or errors that you saw earlier. Another amazing thing about this plugin is that if you open the all posts section inside your WordPress admin area, then you'll be able to see all the posts and their current checklist status. For example, this was the post we were just working with and the checklist is complete. For all the other posts, obviously we haven't started working on the checklist once we added the plugin. So the checklist is currently empty. So this way, if you've been working with a lot of writers, you can instantly see what progress they have made on their tasks. If you're assigning it to writers, or even if you're publishing content on the fly, then you can track the progress of your post if you're doing batch working or doing some task at a time, whenever you get the time to do so. And that's not all. I'm sure you're familiar with WordPress built-in filters right here, but we've added a specific filter just for checklists so that it is easy for you to find the right topics or the right posts that need your attention. For example, if I click right here, I have the option of filtering the post based on what of the tasks in the checklist that are not complete for this post. For example, I can select all the posts that have spelling and grammar checked, not complete, featured image assigned, not complete, and all the other different tasks depending on the checklist that you've created. Let's take a quick example. As you can see, the filter is right now unchecked and this post has the checklist complete. So let's go into the post and do some tweaking. So I'm inside my post. What I'll do is check, uncheck the spelling and grammar checked uh, task in the checklist, publish, ignore the warning, go back to this page, refresh this page, and now I'm gonna use the filter. So I'm gonna go and check or use the spelling and grammar checked filter. And as you can see, now it's showing me all the pages or posts that have the spelling and grammar checked task not complete, including the one that we just did or we tweaked out. Let me just go and change it once again and I'll show you that this post will disappear. So I'll come here, I'll this and this and post is updated. I'll refresh using the same filter and now that specific post is gone because it does not have the spelling and grammar check task incomplete. All these obviously have none of the tasks complete, so they are showing up. So let's go back to the post and let's conclude the video. So that is how you add a pre-published checklist to your WordPress posts and pages using our free plugin, Pre-Published Checklist. I hope that you found this video helpful and the plugin useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video because that encourages me and the rest of the team to create helpful content for you guys. And also make sure that you're subscribed. It was part of the checklist, don't forget that. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that we can send you notifications about new videos that we create and upload to our channel. And also don't forget to check out some of the other amazing products that we create. A lot of plugins are free and we also create the Astra theme, Schema Pro and some amazing products for Gutenberg as well. So make sure that you check it out. I'll link some of the products in the description so that you can check it out. Once again, my name is Yuvraj. You were watching Brainstorm Forces YouTube channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, take care and stay safe.